Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're doing a full face of makeup revolution. Girl, let me tell you, this is the first ever video, like a full face products that I was honestly blown away. And I honestly loved all the products that I used. So you're gonna have to watch the whole video to see what products you need to go buy because this brand is super affordable. There's a lot of dupes for a lot of products that are super high end. And you're gonna be pretty blown away because I was honestly blown away. I had a lot of low expectations, but they all proved me wrong. So do not forget to subscribe. I am going on tour in six days. Do not forget to get your tickets down below. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we are all up close and personal. I did do this eye off camera. Now, let me tell you, I had really low standards for these palettes just because I went with Sylvia and she was like, the palettes aren't good. So it's like, okay, but bitch, if you see this eye, I made it work. Now, let me show you how I made it work. So let's go ahead and get started on the eye. So now I did pick up two palettes from Makeup Revolution. I picked up these two right here for this look. I only used this one and I was kind of glad that I only used one. I got two because I thought that I wasn't gonna be using the colors in this one just because it doesn't look that colorful to be honest but i love the packaging on it the color scheme is pretty nice but the second one that i picked up is more colorful and i didn't know what look i was going to go for here it is the only bad thing is that there's only five mattes and the rest are all shimmers and there are 32 shadows but having said that let's go ahead and start using this palette so here i am taking the light brown shade from the mint chocolate palette sorry guys i as i'm editing this i just realized that the microphone didn't pick up the audio why i have no idea but here i am just patting that color down you guys have seen me do this multiple times so i'm going to pat that light brown color all the way from the very inner corner to the very outer corner and the brush that i am using here is the makeup shack t14 i don't know why i've just been obsessed with using smaller brushes lately i wish it caught the audio because i really was super informative in this tutorial but it's okay this was the only part where it didn't catch the audio but then after that i start doing little circular motions that's how i'm gonna buff it out instead of doing one show wiper motions you want to do little small circular motions and that's how you get the best fucking blending i'm going to be grabbing that brush and placing the color down as well we're just going to be repeating the steps so patting the color down and really take your time because that's how you get the best results is when you pat it all so now that we have that color, I'm just going to begin to buff those two colors together. Just repeating the same step, circular motions. So now we are going to cut the crease. I'm just grabbing this Anastasia 18 brush. And I'm gonna begin by making a half circle. Now, instead of just going straight like this, I kind of round it in. I like the appearance of that much more. So then I'm going to come a little bit down over here, just like that. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to grab this kind of like tealish color. Now, I know how eyeshadows are pressed and everything and let me tell you, this eyeshadow was pressed so hard that when I swatched it, hardly anything came out, literally like nothing came out. So I grabbed my fingernail and I started to scrape the eyeshadow. That way I can get more pigment out of it because literally no pigment was coming off. Not even the brush. This is a really shitty brush. I'm sorry, Makeup Revolution, but like nobody really ever uses these brushes anymore. I'm ahead and I'm going to grab this just flat brush. And with that shadow that's at the very top, I go in and I grab that to set my eyelid with. This is actually a really pretty shadow. It's so pretty. Now when you get close to the edge, just do small strokes. Try to blend that in. And we are going to use a little bit of black just for that outer corner to deepen it up like this one over here. So now I'm just going to grab a gel liner. I don't want to include the brand just because it says a full face brand tutorial. But um, just grab any gel eyeliner. They only had liquid eyeliner, which I was like, okay, so it's whatever. But what you're going to do is just do like a regular eyeliner. But then once you get to the edge, you're going to want to do it more to the top. So as you get closer to the inner corner, start coming down a little bit more. It gets fatter as you get closer to the edge. So now that the eyes are done, I am going to pop on some lashes. Now, unfortunately, Makeup Revolution does not have lashes. As I was saying, I'm just going to pop on whatever lashes. They do not have lashes 
yet. I hope they do come out with lashes because all their stuff is really affordable. And then I'm going to come back so we can start on the face. Okay, so the lashes are on. Now we're moving on to the face. For the prep, I got a fucking tester primer. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my gosh, horrible. So for primer, I got the Pro Base Aqua Priming Base. Hopefully this is a dupe for the Smashbox water primer. You guys know, if you've been with me since the beginning, that I was obsessed with that primer. So I have high hopes for this one. Wow, Daisy. Could you ever get enough? So feeling this primer, it is pretty tacky. Actually, I'm going to look at the ingredients because it has glycerin in there. And that's, oh, awesome. Amazing. It does have glycerin, so glycerin makes the product stick to your skin. But moving on to foundation, this is the Makeup Revolution Stick Foundation. I picked out the shade F8. I don't know if this matched me because whenever me and Sylvia were at uh, Ulta, it was like a yes and a no. But you guys know the lighting there is just not the best. So I'm hoping that this matches me. I am breaking out because of the Texas weather. My skin was like, fuck Texas. It's way too hot in here. And I started breaking out, but... Oh, I don't know how full coverage this is, so I'm just gonna do one side of my face first. And you guys know I love full coverage. I'm going on a date after this, so hopefully this works out. So I just buffed out this foundation. I do feel like the undertone is really like orange pink. The primer definitely did make my skin look really, really dewy. Love that. Now I'm just going to do the rest of my face. And I will be right back. Moving on to the concealer. Now, this has been raved about a lot. Especially because it's a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. What the fuck? Why isn't this open? Hopefully, it's not too white. But I'm pretty freaking excited for this one. Just because I've heard everyone rave about it. I definitely do not have to rave about this concealer. I feel like it took off the foundation underneath. You definitely have to layer this concealer on because I feel like it's pretty sheer. For me, it wasn't full coverage. For a lot of people, it was. It does look pretty nice. I'm honestly shook because my skin is looking super glowy and dewy. Do we love her? Because I love her. Moving on to the translucent powder. I've used this before on my channel, which is the Banana Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder. So I'm going to be using the lace one underneath my eyes and then the banana one to set my entire face. Let's hope both of them mix really well because if not, then I'm fucked. And I don't like to leave this powder on for too long because then it's kind of hard to take off. I don't know if any of you guys have had that problem before, but when I leave this one sitting on my face for too long, it kind of leaves like splotches and I don't like that. My skin looks pretty freaking good though. It looks smooth, there's no creasing, all my pores are filled in, I definitely do like this one. So I'm going to go back into the palette and use that light brown that we were using, and then we're going to use that green to smoke it out. I kind of like the lower lash line like this, but I am going to smoke it out with some dark brown, so I'm going to intensify it with this dark brown. Oh my god, I just stuck my nail to that I'm just grabbing some of that gel liner. I'm putting that on my lower lash line. So now I'm just gonna do my lower lashes and I'll be right back to continue with the face. Awesome, so we are done with the lower lashes. Now we are gonna move on to the contour. For the contour, I picked up the Makeup Revolution Pro HD Powder Contour. Now, this can either go really good or really bad. She said, what you gonna do if I leave? I said, bitch, I'm gonna do me. So I am going to be mixing these two over here. Hopefully they are not too cool toned, but I think we can make it work. Oh, fuck. Does not prepare for that pigment. I definitely underestimated this because, girl, this is super bronzed. Having said all that, I'm going to move on to the blush palette. They did not have the blush palette that I wanted, but I was like, okay, I guess I'll settle for this one. This is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette. Now, I also got it because of this bad boy right here this highlighter just looks stunning the swatch is not that bad but they do feel really gritty oh. mm, not too bad but it's not as pigmented as i wanted to i definitely feel like makeup revolution does press their powders down a lot i feel like they should make them a little bit more 
creamier but you know that's just my opinion i'm gonna go in with this shimmery blush up here unfortunately these don't have shade names but i'm just gonna go with that this thing's intense it looks more like of a highlighter blush i really like this blush wow i'm shook that probably might be my new favorite blush who knows so now that we're done with the blush, I picked up two highlighters just because I did not know what shade I wanted. This one is more like gold. This one is more like of a white gold. These are the Rev Makeup Revolution Strobe Highlighters. You know what? I'm tired of this fucking tape. Where's Nick when I need him? Fuck. Oh, there we go. Amazing. So here are the two highlighters. I'm going to go ahead and swatch them. I hope this one is not like of a green. Whoa. Whoa, 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 this one kind of looks like holographic in a way. Let me swatch the gold one. Ooh, the gold one is so pretty. Okay, now let's see how they compare. Oh, whoa! Oh, actually, I'm really disappointed in that gold one. I'm not into like the holographic ones. This one literally has like a tint of green. And the gold one was not as pigmented as I expected it to be, so I'm pretty disappointed. So let me go ahead and try to swatch that gold one again. I'm rooting for that gold one. Probably if you layer it. Oh yeah, if you layer it, that looks beautiful. Now you guys know before highlight, I always have to set my face. So I'm gonna go in with my favorite setting spray in the whole entire world, which is the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray. So I'm first gonna do my nose like I should, like I shed, like I said. I'm picking up this light gold color over here from the blush palette. It actually looks super nice. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, my God. That one's not too much. Oh, my God. Okay. I feel like I underestimated a lot of these products. And they're just like, yeah, bitch. We're that bitch. And they're just like coming for me right now. Okay. Moment of truth. We're going to try out the highlight. Oh my god, this looks so freaking pretty. I'm freaking speechless. This highlighter is beautiful. It literally looks like wet glass on the skin. It does not emphasize my texture. It doesn't mix with the other products and it really complements that blush a lot. Okay, so now we have the highlight on. We're gonna move on to lips. I picked up the Retro Lux Matte Lip Kit. These remind me of like the bootleg version of the Curly Lip Kits, but I mean, if it's a dupe, then I'm all here for it. Oh, it does come with a lip liner and the liquid lipstick. This one is in the shade Bow Down. Don't really know what this is going to look like. It looks like a really dark pink. Whoa, what the fuck is up with this wand? Do you guys see that wand? Um, okay. I also picked up another color. This one is in the shade... Peach Charming, Peach Charming, Charming, Charming. Whoa, this is not like anything like what it looked like on the store. This one is straight up like a pink, like a straight up pink. Good thing is I don't really like these two. I feel like these will, probably this one will complement the look, but I was looking for more of like a nude. I also did pick up, <laughs> don't make fun of me, <laughs> pick up. I also picked up these two lipsticks in the shade Expose and Inspiration. So let's see what these look like. Oh, okay, this is exactly what I was looking for. Like a straight up just like, oh, never mind. What the hell? It looks like such a pretty nude, but then once you put it on, it's a straight up like Barbie pink. I do not get it. I don't get it at all. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, we were doing so good. Okay, this is the last one. This one is inspiration. Let's see what this one looks like. Mm. Okay, for the lip, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the lip liner and bow down. Oh, Ooh, this is a pretty lip liner actually. I kind of just want to fill in my whole lips with this. So for the most part, it did cover up my lips. Now, I just don't know what nude to use because. Oh, I love this combo. I'm using inspiration. All right, guys, that is it for the final result. I actually love how this turned out. Honestly, all of the products blew me away. I loved every single one of them. Probably the only thing that did trick me was the lipsticks. They just did not match the color that comes in the packaging. But other than that, I love the way my skin looks, the highlight, the blush, 
the bronzer, the eyes came out really, really good. I honestly had low expectations for the palettes. All of the products pretty much blew me away. It is a really affordable brand, so if you can, go out and buy whatever you can. I recommend all of these products. It is definitely Daisy approved. But thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe. Click the notification button down below. I will be going on tour in seven days. Seven or six days, not sure. So if you have not bought your tickets, definitely click the... Click definitely click the link down below so you can purchase a ticket you can see me and yeah thank you so much i love you guys very very much and best souls